HGP Nightly News is reporting. Let me read what they are, are reporting. That a sergeant of the Guyana Police Force was recently arrested and questioned at the Miami International Airport in the United States of America over, quote, his direct involvement, end of quote, in the drug trade in Guyana. The policeman's cellular phone was also confiscated and his U.S. United States visa revoked. The sergeant was put on the next flight back to Guyana. As not who, the sergeant who was put on the next flight back to Guyana has not reported his arrest and phone seizure to his superiors in the Guyana police force. Sources familiar with the arrest said that the United States authorities, quote, are well aware, end of quote, of the cops' direct involvement in the 4.4 tons of cocaine, which has been found in four makeshift bunkers about 30 minutes from the illegal air strip in Region 1 on September the 1st, 2024. Other sources told Night News that the cop acts as a conduit to the Colombian cartel, other serving members of the Guyana Police Force, and other top officials who have been implicated in the 4.4 ton of cocaine discovery. The co court, the Colombian cartel has every presence in Guyana, especially in the interior locations, end of quote, the source added. In recent times, several ranks of the Guyana police force have been stopped and questioned, and questioned by United States authorities. Their cellular devices were also confiscated. More tonight on HGP Nightly News at 8 o'clock. More tonight. So this is breaking news this morning that a police sergeant who, according to what the report has said, traveled to United States, Miami, on his arrival, they say he was arrested. This is not, they would say, let me read it back. I don't want to misquote this, what the article is saying. On his arrival, right, they kind of say yes, direct involvement in the drug trade in Guyana. The police are they're accusing of having direct involvement in the drug trade in Guyana. They said the cellular phone was also confiscated and the United States visa revoked. The sergeant was put on the next flight back to Guyana and has not reported his arrest or phone seizure to his superiors in the Guyana police force. That is what we have. And this is the same police force that Gail Teixeira and others, this man, I okay, can't remember his name now, Crandon saying is the best police force in the Caribbean and people, uh, the other Caribbean forces are, are, are trying to emulate what is going on in the Guyana police force. This, this is, thing is terrible. This is terrible. Police sergeant and of course you had a police superintendent Caesar. Same Miami. Same Miami. He was detained. They didn't say arrest. They used a different word. They say he was detained and questioned. I don't think they said that his visa was revoked. And the question is why? And remember I said, and I will continue to say, you know, if I were in their position and a man who is passing through Miami airport is detained by the federal authorities, questioned at length, his phone seized, and then he's sent to Guyana. When he reports to me as the commander, he has to come in his bare bokta, his shards, no clothes on, no footwear, Perhaps he has to shave his head and come in. And you will know why. And the, the shard he get on, that would be the skimpiest of shards. I would have implemented a, a, um, a, a detector, some kind of a X-ray machine to make sure. You ain't bringing nothing in my office. So if y'all want to allow them to come into your office, it's up to y'all. You ain't bringing nothing in my office. But this is a very damning, another damning report. Remember the same 4.4 um, kilograms or whatever amount of cocaine that's so long ago the operation was carried out and this is confirmed information in the media carried out by the drug enforcement agency the DEA Customs Anti-Narcotic Unit of Guyana and the Guyana Defense Force Special Forces not a single police including the acting commissioner the extended squatter was involved not a single police was involved in what was said the biggest land drug bust in Guyana. And I wonder why. Now we have a sergeant and they're saying, again, they say, this is what they say, they, 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 they are recently arrested and questioned at the Miami International Airport in the United States of America over, quote, his direct involvement 
in the drug trade in Guyana is direct involvement. That is what they are saying. It's direct. Mr. Conway, let me ask you to make some comments on this matter. Another damning allegation against the and before before you speak, Ms. CC, let me understand that when the US decide to do something like this, they have information, you know, they're gonna do it uh willy-nilly and random. They have information. What are your views, my brother? Well, um, I remember early, you know, and you, you're saying kilos is is is, is four point something tons of cocaine. So don't 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 reduce it, you know, don't reduce it. There's tons of of cocaine. No, um, they had said earlier that a, a senior superintendent uh, was fingered in 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 this, in this drug bus, you know. All I heard, it, all I did, send him to the the transport workshop we took over from a credit officer and finally like that thing has, has gone cold now you're hearing a sergeant um i got some information but you know i can't pronounce yet uh, things mightn't be as what is being reported but then we the investigation go on and then again to you know paul here is it in in the in that drug was four point something tons of cocaine the police wasn't involved and then i read in today's paper there was a trading by the u.s canoe and gra and understand not a police involved in it so apparently they did they, 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 apparently like they don't have any real kind of confidence in the police in dealing with drugs and in dealing with with firearm big training gra and canoe and the police not involved in it so something in in in, in mission mission up something is, is wrong and the confidence not there in in the police in the police force the big cocaine bus police not involved no serious training in terms of drugs and um, firearm and the police not involved canoe and GRE. something is wrong something is definitely wrong something is when you have this type of training and you choose to exclude um the police something is wrong when you have a police senior superintendent in charge of region one big cocaine boss they removed him put him to the put him at the transport workshop you didn't hear anything more something wrong you have an operation massive operation took uh, at least days Police kept out, kept, kept in the dark, including the man, the most senior policeman, the man in charge of the force, the acting commissioner, Clifton Ikin, the extended squatter. They did not inform him about this operation that was being monkeyed. Why? Why? And Guilty Shira is on record as, tell, as telling the country and the world about uh, during the superintendence of the force under Clifton Ikin. All, man, all, all great things are taking place. All great things under the um, superintendent of um, the king. All sort of thing. We know because we know drug boss, you kept in the dark. We know now they're saying police sergeant directly involved. Let me understand what I said. He's directly, it's not a case where they're saying that perhaps he knows something or he sees something, he stays silent. They are saying that the sergeant of police is directly involved in the drug trade in Guyana. This is what has been reported by HDP News directly involved and the police corporate communication unit has not said anything as yet they have not come out to debunk there's a there's a, a, a popular word now to debunk this statement so that is what you have and you know again my heart bleeds for the honest hard-working members of the Ghana police force of which there are many 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 at all well not all at, at senior and junior levels can you say all levels you including the the rank from commissioner right down to constable but not all levels on many of the levels, you have people who are dedicated, hardworking, and I can imagine the turmoil that they are going through when these things are revealed because people tend to paint a broad brush. Police, there's a police involved. They don't single out for several is this police but in, in, in the big uh, money laundering and so on. It's not until late, then they several brutus. But before that, they talk about police, they talk about police. That is what is going on. It must be very demoralizing. Every day you pick up is something adverse. And the people like the Home Affairs Minister, the extended squatter, and all of them, 
They're not there to try. I am not aware of any program that they have to try and interact. The National Security Advisor. There is a um, there is a advisor to the Minister Harry Gill. You don't hear nothing from these people. You don't hear nothing from them about what efforts they are be, they are making to try to um, get the police uh, boost their morale because it must be at a, at rock bottom given what is going on. It must be at rock bottom. But that is what we have. That is what we have going on. And you know, before I move off of that, um, from the police, let me tell you this one. I learned recently that the bridge, the main bridge to the police headquarters at um, in Young Street, that is the one where, you know, between the two cannons, you have the cannon and you have the guard out there. I understand that that bridge is damaged. They, they are building this new TSU building at the back there. And the information is that large trucks carrying building materials, sand, cement, um, stone, and so on, were traversing on that bridge. And obviously, the bridge wasn't built for that. So the bridge um, damaged. The bridge is damaged, so you have to use some other entrance to go in to the police um, compound if you are driving. Are they what I understand? I understand... And this is information that I got that they budgeted a sum of money was budgeted for the repairs to that bridge some time ago. A sum of money budgeted to repair the bridge. The bridge cannot be repaired as yet. You know why? Do you know why? Because they say the money disappeared. I, I can't believe there's something, something gotta be wrong. That is what is being alleged that the money that was budgeted to repair the bridge to go into the police compound, disappears. So they are in the process now of doing a new budget for that bridge. That is the information came, and I, 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 I will get it to sell it, I'm selling it. But I can't believe that. That money can just disappear just like that. Something must be wrong. What is going on at that level in the force? And when things like this happen, it really can't be no junior person or junior um, at superintendent level and these people. we got to be senior, senior people. And I would hope that now that this thing is put out there, that the Police Corporate Communication Unit, the, uh, the, the acting commission, the extended squatter, this has to be a capital project. So the PS, Ministry of Home Affairs, will come out and debunk this statement. They will come out and debunk. I, I, I honestly hope that they do so. I said this is just a wild rumor and we're going to come back and tell you, well, it's a rumor. But I get it from what is normally considered reliable source. So I said, let me put it out so they can we see what they're going to do. The bridge block, they're not using the bridge. I think that is confirmed. So they budgeted to have the bridge um, replaced or repaired, whatever it is. And the information is, they don't know where the money gone. One of the money they want and them not, not bank accounts. But they don't know where the money has gone. That is what I'm told. Let me bring in Mr. Conway to hear what he has to say about this. Mr. Conway, this is this is um, remarkable. This is remarkable. At least I think it is remarkable. What are your views, my brother? Well, it, it's nothing strange, you know. It's from financial irregularities to financial irregularities, from corruption to corruption where money is involved. Widespread all across all across the, the, the police force. And I said yesterday in the program, Borbis. Borbies, 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 where financial irregularity is going on. They need to investigate, attack about the quartermaster stores all over the police force, financial financial irregularities and corruption. And it's not it's a small man. I mentioned yesterday that in Borbies where they, they recruit the Amerindians and the college here were seen on New Amsterdam Tongue Day wearing the, 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 the type of footwear that the officers wearing and they, they say they have to pay a police corporal i don't call his name yet but i get his name a sort of uh, seven thousand dollars to to acquire the footwear they had to pay for the footwear when it's getting free from the quadrumas so i had to pay and my information that came to me last night is that this corporal is just a front for a senior officer just a front for a senior officer so you look there is 
financial inequality, there's corruption and corruption at all levels, and it's widespread in the Ghana police force. Not only did they the bridge, several other areas there, there's widespread corruption going, going on, the financial irregularities. And the couple who selling the boots for 7,000 is a front for a very senior police officer. They name, but I'm not going to call the name yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, folks, y'all yeah, continue to share. We ain't giving you the, the rate.